I've started recording. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I just wanted to um, call out to everyone a shout out. Um, I'm Judy Breedy. I am here to present another Liquitex class. Uh, we'll be painting with basics. And our artist that's going to be presenting today is Timry Gold. So I'm really encouraged um, by the artwork. I really enjoy looking and going through the art and picking this out for today. And I hope those of you um, on the chat will participate in it. And if you're not, sit back, relax, but more important, keep the chat active. Um, any questions regarding um, any of the technique, the, the product, uh, put in the chat and we will um, help, you know, we'll get, we'll get you up, set up and uh, hopefully create a, uh, great painting experience this evening. So I want to go right into the artwork with Tim Regold. Okay, awesome. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Tim Ray and welcome to my class. If this is your first time painting with me, awesome. We're going to be doing this painting here, the Lavender Fields, which honestly is one of my most favorite paintings to do. Um, not to mention I studied in Aix-en-Provence. So I'm going to take you back to the south of France um, this evening. And um, yeah, just to give you a little background on myself, I am totally self-taught. I've never had an art lesson before. And I teach you exactly how I think and how I paint. We call it the Timber Technique. And the most important thing is that when you paint with me, you never paint like this when you're trying to make everything really perfect. Nope, everything's real chunky. If you get a little, you know, little yellows getting in your blue, that's okay. It's in this mindset anyway. So I'm gonna guide you step-by-step step and um, guide you through the process and it's gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. So anything else I need to say, Jeannie, before I get started or are we good to go? We are good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our paint on the, um, on the palette. And if you haven't already done so, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I love obviously using Liquitex Basics. This is my jam. I have, um, I teach classes all the time and I have been using these paints for, gosh, since college and I'm 42 now, so it's been a while. But, um, but anyway, they're just the best. So I, got, I always like to start with two whites and this is in no particular order. So I'm just gonna put them all on my um, palette, but we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black and a little bit of, and um, please excuse me, but burnt umber, but I like to call it chocolate brown. So I have my own names for them and I have to kind of stop myself and, um, since I'm representing basics, make sure I have yellow oxide um, instead of what um, I usually call it ugly mustard. But anyway, okay. Then we have a little bit of yellow. And of course we need our purple here, a little bit of green. And I like to be like a little chunky with my painting. So um, if you ever need to reload your paint, definitely do so. I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue here. And of course, um, I'm one that doesn't put the tops on my paint very well. So it's a little dry, but that's okay. And just a little bit of this light pink. You just need a little bit. This is for the sunset. Okay, I think that is it. I think that's it. So I've got two whites, black. So sorry, let me do that for you, everybody. Two whites, black, burn umber, yellow oxide, yellow, purple, green, light blue, and pale pink. So we're gonna get that going. I see, um, and I can see some of you painting, like I, I can see a Lindy. She's got some books or something in the background there, getting herself started. I got a Cami, a Cami Joe and a Christina. So anyway, I just, I love seeing your little faces pop up in my Zoom. I got a Marianne and a Liz. So anyway, I just want to say thank you to all of you for painting with me live. Like, it's so awesome, you guys. Like, you have no idea. I mean, what a dream to paint for Michaels. Hello. We all shop there, you know? So we all know we can get the coupon. Everybody, we all know we can get the coupon for our basics. Wow, we've okay. got some really, we've got some return artists with us tonight. I see okay, that good. For, for our second and even a third time. So... Thank you for joining us. I'm glad that you're making this connection with Timry and uh, Basics Painting. Wonderful. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera and get started. And hold on as I have to put my hair up because it's clearly getting in the paint. So hold on. 
hold on. Let me just do that. Okay, I got my hair. I got my hair done yesterday, so it's like we have to use the blowout as long as it lasts. And now it's over. Okay, it's looking so, lovely. <laughs> okay, so I always like to start with four brushes, and you know what? I'm actually just gonna move the camera back just a yes. little bit because um, it's a little uncomfortable for me. So please excuse me as I just. And as Timmy adjusts her camera, she's going to refer to her brushes okay, in her is own unique way. But um, as you know, in the um, supplies list, we have all the actual brushes and we do have, give you similar brushes that you could purchase or just for reference what size she, she uses. So here we have our largest brush. Then the next one's a little bit smaller. This is the medium brush. Skip your brush, you'll find your littlest brush. I call this one the baby. And then you have a brush that is in between your baby and your medium. Let me call that the tween. So please grab your tween, tappy tappy water, and you're gonna do a little puddle next to one of your white, doesn't matter which one. And obviously as I do my puddle, it's gonna be running down the page because it's kind of um, at his plant here, but you're gonna tap and puddle, tap and puddle and do a big puddle the size of a quarter. Big puddle the size of a quarter. Grab a chunk of white and zhuzh in your puddle. So you might be like, what's zhuzhi? Well, this means you take a little water and a little paint and mix it. Just like so. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. And obviously, since y'all are Michael's goers, like this is probably not your first rodeo painting. So we got this. All right. Let's go ahead and we're going to grab a little bit of that yellow oxide, zhuzh in your puddle to get a light butter color. Light butter color, just like so. And tap a little water and get it, get it. Okay, all right. Now remember, I'm going to do this. So it's like, if you need to take a deep breath, do it. Because let's face it, I mean, we pulled ourselves together. We got our paint out. We were live on Michael's, okay? Like you did it, mission accomplished. Now it's time to paint. So let's go ahead and we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a little bit more yellow oxide just because I need it to be darker on camera for you. But stick to your light about a color, okay? Here we go. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put a dot right here in the middle of the canvas, just like that. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then you're gonna go like this. Now, I wanna show you what I want and what I don't want. Okay, Timmy technique here. All I want you to do is like this. Boom, okay? We're not gonna paint like this. Oh, I'm painting a, I'm painting a straight line, okay? No, just get it done. Okay, breathing, okay, tapping a little water. And guess what? Even if your paint is a little scratchy right here, okay, because it's just her sketch, all right? So don't keep trying to go over it. Let it go, let it go, we're an artist, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit more, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead between here and here, let's cut that in half. Let's cut that in half. Tap a little water, just a little butter. Okay, sometimes I like to hold my brush back here. Okay, and when I take it, I'm gonna go like this. Boom, do it again. I know it's not straight, and that's because I'm basically sitting on the ground here in an awkward position. But that's okay. You can just kind of go back and just straighten it. It doesn't matter. This is just the sketch. Okay, it's just the sketch. We're just painting. Rather it be in your garage or at your kitchen table. Whatever, okay? All right, tap a little water, zhuzh, okay? Then we're gonna come over here, okay? Have our little, um, oh, we just like came across this little lavender field, it's like a little farm, okay? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna do, let's just, here's our dot. Let's go ahead and cut that in half just so that we know where we are, okay? Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna take it halfway. Or we're just gonna do it. Okay. Some of you might have a huge chateau. Great. Okay. And some of you might have a shack. Regardless, doesn't matter. Okay. It's gonna be okay. And then. We're gonna simply go like this. Look it. I'm just gonna do like a little triangle. A little triangle. 
it down. If your triangle goes above your line, that's fine. Goes below your line, that's fine. Okay. And then just kind of bring it over and kind of do like a little slant. Okay. Shaping up. Right. Then we're gonna go. I'm actually gonna do a lot of freestyle on this one, but before we do that, I'm actually gonna kind of change this up. You're gonna put your brush in the water. And darlings, I want you to grab your largest brush, okay? Tap a little water and go ahead and judge that butter with your largest brush. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna trust the process. Okay, you're just gonna trust the process. So I'm gonna take my largest brush, tap a little water, judge my butter, get it good. Three, okay, three. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it right where this little line is, okay? It's kind of like where this little lavender-y part is, okay? So I'm just gonna take it, your brush goes two ways. It can go skinny, hold on, let me get, let me get a little darker for you. It can go skinny and it can go fatty. You see that? So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna take my fatty position. Again, it's like water down, real watery, okay? And if it drips, that means you listen, okay? So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna bring it down like that. And I might just kind of make it a little bit thicker at the end, okay? Grab a little bit more watery butter, okay? And again, you just, when I want you to watch my brush strokes and I want you to go as fast as I can, or as fast as I do, sorry, okay? <laughs> because we're live and you can't pause me, right? Okay? So in the, if you're in the future, then you can. But I'm gonna go like this, ready? <clears throat> and bring it out, bring it out. Oh, I'm off the page, okay? Just like so. Okay, then, then I'm gonna go like this. I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go like this. One. Then we're gonna shoot out again. Two, shoot out again. Three, and then a little baby one, four. It's like rays of sunshine like this. Now, let me just remind you, if yours are not, maybe maybe you accidentally went all straight down, okay? Maybe you can't fit four and then you only have three. Let it go. It's fine. It's still going to be cute. When you show your friends, people are going to have no idea. It doesn't match the same. Okay. All right. When you're done, oh, washy, 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 washy again. All right, let's do this. Take a deep breath. All right. Mm. Let's go ahead, my darlings, and you're gonna take your fatty brush and zhuzh the chocolate. Push and move it. Sorry, burnt umber, everybody. Tap a little water and zhuzh burnt umber. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, get it, get it, get it. Grab the burnt umber. Okay. Now I want you to go, try to just let it go and follow my lead. Okay. But take it and remember, like sometimes you need to like sit up straight. Okay, you guys, sit up straight, roll your shoulders back because it's like we're all hunched over. <sighs> okay, side of position. I'm gonna color in between the lines, chocolate. And look at it, it's okay. We're gonna be adding our beautiful lavender fields later, but just get this part in. Don't think twice, just be like, yeah, I'm just painting. Okay, grabbing some more chocolate. Okay, if you find, okay, that you're painting and it's like scratchy, okay, this happens sometimes with our Liquitex basics. And all you need to do is you just need to tap a little water, okay, grab some more paint, and it's just like, oh. So all you need to do when it ever gets scratchy like that, that's when it kind of gets just like a little frustrating, like you're trying too hard. So add some water to your brush, grab some more paint, and you're fine. You're gonna be fine. Timmy, one okay. of the things I think that you do very nicely, and like this is this is the foundation for the art, and it's very forgiving. 
is you could see her stroke is so light. And that's what you were talking about, the scratchy, because it shouldn't be stressful. It should be relaxing. So take notice of how she's even holding her, um, the brush. It's not a, it's a, a very don't, loose. Don't thing. hold it like this. I guess, yeah, I guess I <laughs> kind of hold it like a, I kind <laughs> of, um, I hold it like a wand. You know, it's like, do, 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 do. you know, it's magical like, it like a wand, like so. Now, All good. do not wash your brush. I'm just going to grab a little corner black, little corner black, okay? And I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to take the corners just like this. Oh, oh, a little black, okay? Oh, look, oh, oh, I'm just going to do a line, okay? Oh, I'm just going to do a line. Doesn't really make sense, but you're going to do it, okay? Because notice there's just like a little bit of black in there. I'm going to add a little bit of black there later. But we want this to dry before we put our lavender fields on there. And in fact, I want you to take a little bit of black. I'm grabbing a little bit more, okay? And I'm not gonna be super chunky, okay? So you can kind of even wipe it off on your palette so it's not, not super chunky. And you're gonna go like this, okay? I'm just gonna go like this, like, dun, do, 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 do. It's like, oh, polka dot, polka dot. Like it's to dun, dun, dun. It's like chocolate chip cookies. Okay, it's like, oh, chunk, 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 chunk. And you're just trusting the process. Okay. And this is how I really paint everybody. Okay, this is how I really do it. And it's gonna be okay. And you're breathing and you're washy washy. Because you're gonna be so impressed with this painting, I kid you not. Like this is one of those paintings where you're like, that's pretty good. Okay. All right, washy washy, washy washy good. Darlings, I want you to continue with your medium brush and we're gonna be doing the sky. So you need to make it really clean because right now it's black. So let's get that done, okay? All right, mm. so I got my um, my largest brush. I'm gonna judge the white, push and move it. Yeah, push and move it. Notice my chunk, everybody. It's like, I'm scooping it up, okay? You can almost like roll it like spaghetti, all right? Then I'm gonna grab a little chunk of that beautiful light blue, okay? And if you're one of those people, it's like 75% white, 25% blue, okay? And you're like, oh, okay, appreciate that, okay? So then I'm gonna take it. Now, I want you to notice our beautiful sunset going on over here. Okay, so like, let's not go over there. Do whatever. Okay, different times of day. But I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna chunk it like this. So watch me first, and then you're gonna play. Okay, so I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna, just first, just, just do that, just chunk it off, okay? Okay, I can see Cammy, and so I can see her brush stroke. Okay, so then I'm gonna go like this. <clears throat> sitting up straight, sitting up straight, and I'm just like this. Chunk, notice my brush strokes. Oh, oh, chunk, it's like, oh, poke here, poke here. Because there's like, you know, lights coming through. Okay. Oh, maybe a little poke there. And that's it. Okay. So leave this light, leave this canvas blank because we're going to be adding our sunset that we're just so blessed to be in right now. Okay. In Provence. All right. Okay. Looks like I got an Angela Moore painting with me. I got a Barbara. Okay. I got a Lori. Everyone's got their like full headsets on. Um, okay. All right. Okay. So we just chunk, chunk, chunk. Remember, darlings, I want you to go right up to that edge. This is the real deal. Okay. This is the real deal. So I don't want to see that drawing line. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Okay. Perfect. Then notice. Also, so if you need to kind of go back and do this, like you see, like I got dark, I got some blue, I got some white, okay? Cause you just love it and leave it. So if you feel like yours is kind of all one color, go ahead, just grab a little white real quick and just be like, duh, 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 that's a cloud, it's a cloud. Oh, that's a cloud going up the page, okay? Yeah. And if you think you need to do it, just do it. Just do it. Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it again. <sighs> Breathe in. Okay, darlings, we're gonna wash it good. I'm gonna take my 
Largest brush again, grab a chunk of white and just a little chunk of that beautiful sunshine yellow. Okay. We're talking 80 20 here 80% white, 20% pretty yellow. Okay. And I'm going to take it. I'm, yeah, Jeannie, I guess I am very light on my brush. You it's are. Like frosting a cake. Okay, I'm just barely touching it. Chunk, chunk. Oh, look at that. Sky. Okay. Oh, so yellow right there. So I'm just going to barely push it in. Okay. And you might be like, wow, yellow and blue make green. Okay. So just wipe off your brush. Okay. Grab a little bit more white. Okay. It's going to be okay. Barely touching it. Oh, oh, a little peekaboo up there. Every sunset's different. Okay, every sunset is different. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Okay, oh, this one went a little further. Okay, breathing, wrinkle rolls, everybody. We're just living our best life in Provence painting. Okay, how about that, Michaels? Why don't you take us all there? In fact, <laughs> destination that classes. That's right. We're gonna destination. I just upgraded. I just upgraded from a brewery to France. Okay. To Provence, right? Well, we Provence. did see that, yeah, you have done quite a few landscapes throughout the world. So they will be coming down, coming on these classes. I mean, we can start so. with like San Francisco. I'll go up north. You know, I'm in Newport, but we, um, we can, we're going international. Yeah, we might be on on uh, on uh, remote pretty soon. Who knows? If, you know what? Um, Let's just make it a TV show. Okay. There you go. All right. You Everyone's have, enjoying. Some people I just have wanted... cooking shows, and I'm going to be that. Um, you know. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and don't wash your brush. Let's just grab a little bit of that beautiful light pink color. Okay, that beautiful light pink color. Just a little peekaboo coming through. Just a little peekaboo. Just like so. Just like. Little bit of pink. And look at it. Maybe a little bit of pink on that cloud. Okay. Now, what I don't want is that you're like, I'm trying to stay in the line. So you could just grab, if you feel like you need to really quick at this moment, take a little white and a little light blue and just kind of have a couple little white and light blue moments, then go for it. Then go for it. Okay. Now, do not wash your brush. Do not wash your brush. You're gonna take a little bit of white, a little corner of black, and a little bit of green. So you're like, wait, what? I took white, black, and green, and I'm just gonna mix it on my palette, which I'm rarely a mixer. So I took white, black, and green, Mix it on my palette to get, um, let's just call it moss, okay? It kind of looks like avocado face mask. And I'm gonna go like this. So watch me, I'm gonna push, 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 and then I'm gonna be serious, okay? So watch, I'm gonna, up here, free, freestyling, okay? Push, 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 push. And I'm like, okay, I'm serious here, okay? Grab a little bit more. Maybe you want it darker. Add a little bit more black, a little green, whatever. Okay, here we go. Freestyling. Push, 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 push. Serious. Serious. Okay. Oh, look at those mountains in the background. Yeah, you might get a little blue in it. And that's okay. That's okay. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Okay. Wash, wash it. Wash, wash it. The reason why it's lighter is because the sun is hitting the mountains and like that just happened. And that's when you're like, I'm a genius. Okay. Okay. These are those little imperfections that just happened and it's a blessing. All right, wash it, wash it. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take our fatty brush, our largest brush. I'm gonna grab a chunk of white. Okay. A chunk of pretty yellow and a little chunk of green. Okay. So I got a big chunk of white chunk of pretty yellow, little chunk of green. When you're ready, take it, wipe it off. And you're like, whoa, that's bright. 
it's okay. As you start painting, it's gonna turn kind of lime green. And look at how fast I'm painting, just get it done. Okay, and you're like, oh, there's my house, but I'm just gonna kind of go like that. And I'm just gonna kind of like go like that. It's fine, okay? Don't take it too seriously down here. You're gonna paint some flowers over it anyway. You just want that bright lime green. Just want that bright lime green. Chartreuse, I think, I'm not sure. A good one, yeah, chartreuse is good. Tamara, we're getting really nice um, feedback from the chat, how everyone is so relaxed and your technique doesn't, you know, is so easy to follow along. So we're glad everybody is enjoying it because it's all about the creativity and, and releasing the stress. So it's, we're getting some really um, good feedback. So good. yeah, and paint at your own pace as always, because we, I just put in the chat um, that this class is being recorded and be available in 24 hours. So no stress. Um, great. Okay. So, <laughs> Sorry. No need, so no need to wash your brush again. Just got time for that. So we're just going to grab a little bit of that yellow oxide. Okay. So you just got your dirty brush and you're just going to grab some yellow oxide and you're just going to kind of go right here. So like, see this, it's kind of like, oh, that's a dirt patch. So you're like, okay. Oh, that's a dirt patch. Nothing crazy. I'm just going to put it in there. Okay. Taking a deep breath. Do not wash your brush, my darlings. You're going to go ahead, take a chunk of white, put it on your palette. I think you can still see that on camera, right? Yeah. Take a little bit of chocolate brown and mixy mixy to get like a taupey brownie color. This is gonna be for our little Provencal house that we just stumbled upon. So it's just white and brown. Again, everybody's situation is different. Maybe you still had a little bit more green on your brush. Maybe you had more white. Honestly, again, doesn't matter. There's all different kinds of patinas, okay? So I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to, and so, what I like to do is, like, again, your brush goes two ways, fatty, skinny. So I like to kind of cut it. I'll just kind of like cut it right here, pull it down. It's like so, I'm just pulling it down. So I just kind of cut it, pull it down like that. So even this is a different color than this, and that's okay. And that's okay. I might want, and this is a chance to look at, I even widened mine a little bit. So if you feel like you need to make yours like a little bit bigger or whatever, do so. And also like, make sure you go over your drawing lines, okay? I don't wanna see any butter, if that makes sense. So then, so then we're gonna take just a little bit of black. So I'm not washing my brush, okay? I'm just gonna grab just a little corner black. Ding, okay, a little corner. And this is where I hold my brush back here, okay? And I'm barely touching again, like I can't emphasize enough where like sit up straight, you know, it's like, okay, you know? And I'm just gonna take it and remind, let me remind you that this is like an impressionistic take. Okay, so your lines don't have to be straight, just kind of like go for it. And I'm like this, down here, down. I might just bring it over. Now, please, at any time, my darlings, if this is like, this brush is too thick, then pick up your baby, okay? Pick up your baby and you do you. So at any time you're like, you know, I just feel more comfortable using a smaller brush, great, do it, do it. In fact, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna use another brush right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tween brush. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tween brush. And I'm gonna grab a little, a little bit more black. And then I'm gonna go like this. I'm just gonna pull it down straight. And notice, again, Everyone's is different. Like mine's pulling in some of the 
paint from the background. Mine's a little crooked there. Um, so mine's not completely black. I'm moving so fast. So I can always go back and add a little bit black, but just like, just don't try to keep going over it because then you'll just get frustrated. Otherwise you just like barely touch it. Okay. Then you're like, oh, I'm just gonna put a little something here, a little something here, pulling down. Then I'll kind of go this way, here, here. Okay. And then look at this. I mean, this looks like a hot mess over here. So like, okay, sure. Sure, I'll messy that up. Oh, what? Oh, okay, sure, just dun, 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 dun. Okay, sure, I'm gonna mess that up. Maybe this is like an antique painting that, you know, somebody found at a um, estate sale. Yeah, okay. Now, just grab a chunk of chocolate, excuse me, burnt umber. Yeah, burnt umber. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in just like so. Cause it's really not about our little house. It's really about our lavender fields. And we got cypress trees and all that jazz, okay? Okay, all right. Now we're gonna go ahead, put our brush in the water and let's grab, sorry, we've got a fire check going by. So let's go ahead, put our brush in the water and let's go ahead and judge the dark green with our medium brush, our medium brush. Tap a little water and judge the dark green with the medium brush. Now, if you have a little yellow in your brush or in your yellow in your green, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Get it, get it, get it, okay? So I'm gonna take that green and I'm just gonna kind of take a little corner of black. And again, if your black has white in it, that's okay too, okay? Jeannie, do you feel like we're at a good pace here or Actually, how's it going? You're doing nicely, yes. We're at 8.33, so a little over half more, halfway. Okay, more. all right. So I'm gonna take it and right here, I'm just gonna kind of go like this, like push, push, push to the edge. Maybe like a little something like this. Okay, nothing crazy. If you feel more comfortable going like this, let's put a little dot here and a little dot here and a little dot here. That way we just kind of know where we're gonna start. Interesting, this is a little different than my sample. So hold on a second. Actually, just kidding everybody. Okay, you know, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. <laughs> we're just gonna go like this. First, we're gonna go like this. Let's just draw a line. Okay. And then we're gonna draw another line. And then we're just gonna draw like a little something. You guys, it really doesn't matter. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Then we're gonna grab another little chunk of green, little corner black. And then this is where we're like, and push, 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 okay, push, 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 but this can turn into a tree, okay, this can turn into a tree, it's fine, and you're like, oh, push, 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 oh, it's picking up some of my yellow, great, it's like a highlight, grab a little bit more green, a little bit of black, and like another little push, push moment, okay, it's fine. Through that one, okay. Got through that one, Jeannie. I was happy. Right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we're gonna take our green and a little bit of black, and I want you to mixy mixy because I really do want you to make a dark forest green color. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take a little green and black, and this time I'm actually gonna mix it together on my palette. Okay. So if you need more paint, put it on there. Okay. Now remember. Your brush can go two ways, body position, skinny. So skinny position, look at this. Skinny, 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 push, 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 push. Cypress, okay. Cypress. Cypress, okay. And then I'm like, oh, I'm having no cypress, okay. Skinny, 
push, 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 push. Look at this one went way up in the sky because we're artsy like that. Okay. Oh, my gloves a little bit there too. Then notice we got two rows here. I got distance side press, and then I got up here. Not sure what that is, but it's something. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with our back. Let's start with the one in the back. Okay. It's like this skinny push, 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 skinny push. And then, like, I'll just take the corner of my brush and, like, a push. There's a push, push, push. Okay. Every landscape is different, everybody. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here right in this intersection. I'm going to use the corner of my brush. Push, push, push. Okay. Push, 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 push. I was like, that's a tree. Then I'll come over here. Push, push, push. Kind of like up here. It's darker. Push, 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 push. Skinny it out. Oh, sure, I'll add another cypress because now I'm a landscape artist. Okay? You're filling Why it not? in. It looks nice. Yeah, and it's, it is coming out different from me. And someone asked earlier, can you make the house pink? You can make whatever color you want. Um, yes, you can make the house pink, of course. This is your moment. My motto always is like, if I can't buy it, I just paint it. Okay, so you should see I've got a huge Louis Vuitton trunk right by my wall. Okay, <laughs> I so love this, it. Is, this is your chance, everybody. If you want a pink house, great. Okay, great. I'm coming because everyone's going to go there for their Instagram photos. Okay, when you, got right. the house. you got big business there. Okay, everyone have this moment. Okay, add some more cypress trees because let's face it, you're good at it. So add some more cypress. Okay, all right. Time to put these lavender fields in. Let's go ahead and wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it good. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my fatty brush. I'm gonna use my fatty brush. And then we're gonna transition to the medium brush and then maybe the tween brush. And then also, okay for all you out there. Everyone has different widths. Some of you might have really skinny lavender fields and some of you might have big ones, full bloom, okay? So that might depend on the brush. So whatever you feel comfortable with, you do that, okay? So I'm gonna use my largest brush and I'm gonna use that dark purple, okay? Now this purple, let's talk about Liquitex paint here. This purple is strong, okay? So Highly I'm gonna it. use, Pigment. I'm going to use this dark purple, but I'm also going to grab a big chunk of white because it's strong. Highly pigmented. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm. Now, good, I'm going to take it and I'm going to, load. I'm going to push, push, push. Okay. I'm going to push, push, push. Like this. And I'm using the corner of my brush. Now this is going to be layers. So this is not like, this is not it. Okay. We're going to add more purple. We're going to add more light blue. We're going to add some black. Okay. This is just the base. So I'm just going to push, push, push. Maybe add a little too much white. Okay. It's okay. Push, 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 push. Chunk, 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 chunk. Choppy, 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 choppy. Okay. Choppy, 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 choppy. Okay, let's just get the job done. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, chop, chop, chop. Oh, I'm going in my brown. Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay, chop, 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 chop. Some of you might fi find it easier, okay, because everyone paints differently, okay? So you might find it easier to just be like, I'm just gonna color it in first and then start my chopping technique, okay? but just Let's just get some purple in the background, okay, darlings? Let's just get some purple in the background so we can start layering it because we're an artist and that's what we do. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, I went over my chocolate chips. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. I clearly did. Sometimes we just make it up as we go because we're an artist, okay? Because we're an artist, we'll just figure it out. Okay, chop, 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 chop. We got dark moments, light moments, and we are gonna go back 
with a smaller brush. Okay, so don't you worry. We're trusting the process here. We just need to get the base in. Just gotta get the base in, okay? And really it's not about the brown. So if you need to kind of go back and add a little bit more choppiness. So it's like not so much brown. We might have to take, do another one, Jeannie, where it's like, oh, we're going to Italy and we do vineyards, you know, or like Sonoma. Uh, That's another, or we, um, we think Napa. Like that, that was one of the other things I was thinking about. We need that to go to Napa. That's another good destination one. Yes. I, I, got I would agree. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Then, okay. So we've choppied this up. Some are lighter, some are darker, just the process, okay? gonna be okay it's gonna be okay put your brush in the water okay and let's grab our medium brush let's grab our medium brush okay how's my little lindy doing i see she's working away yep that's you oh lindy that's looking good she's got to pick up the pace a little bit that's okay hey she's here she's here okay Darling, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab our medium brush. Okay, we're gonna, I need some more black. I need some more black. I don't know if you do, but I do. And I'm gonna just a little bit more black. Okay. And after we just chop that all up, okay, we're gonna put a couple more, I'm just gonna call them chocolate chips. I hope that makes sense but we're just gonna put a couple more chocolate chips in there. Little black shadows. You know what I mean, just do it, okay? Trust the process, okay? Chocolate chips, chocolate chips, okay? Not people too many, more. less people is more. People remember this. Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of good uh, fun feedback. It's, it's so true, because you're gonna remember these little things when you're painting on your own. Um, and as uh, you noticed on the screen, we would love for you to share your art with us and post using the hashtags, hashtag liquid text, hashtag big art with Michaels, um, hashtag make it with Michaels and tag Michaels and you may appear on their wall of uh, um, their art gallery. So that would be fun. And sure always, listen, always follow Timri as well on um, Instagram, please, that she would really appreciate seeing your artwork as well. So uh, follow her at timree.com and she's got plenty of other like I said lots of other classes that she participates in so we're very fortunate to have her here with us at Michael's like we're having about once a month so stay tuned we'll have um, other paintings with Timree um, coming up in the upcoming months the next one will be for Halloween thanks for that shout out Jeannie <laughs> okay <laughs> ladies let's go ahead we're going to continue with our medium brush okay now you're going to see that these are big brush strokes and these are tiny little choppy, 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 choppy brush strokes, okay? Now, if you love that choppy, choppy, choppy look, great. That might take you just a little bit longer, okay? We only got an hour, okay? So I'm gonna show you, if you can keep up with me, great, we can bust this out, but also give yourself some grace if you can't finish it as fast as I can, just know that you can go back and finish all these details, okay? So let me just show you, Let's just try to do it. And then just remember, if you can't keep up, again, no big deal. You can do it after the class, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna grab some more purple, some more white, okay? And this time, it's like you're gonna do smaller little pushes, smaller little pushes. Ding, 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 okay? And this is where you're like, yeah, I guess I do have to let it go because I'm having to paint so fast. Okay, six speed painting tips. And I have to say, so I studied in the south of France. And um, when I say I've never had an art lesson before, I take it back. I had one, um, one art lesson and um, I, we painted, we had old French military backpacks and they painted where Van Gogh and Cezanne painted themselves. And we would go and we'd even go over like barbed wire fences and all that. And we'd set up our easels in the middle of the fields and start painting. And I look back, I was only 20 and that experience was just like, 
amazing. And my teacher was a little, let's just say if you painted an apple purple and turquoise, it was fabulous. So you could do whatever you wanted. You got to design your own style. So they, everything was so forgiving and um, beautiful. And so when I paint this, I think about how, um, how I did that. Good but, memories. Very yeah. fun. It's fantastic that, that she made that impression on you. And we have some suggestions. Thank you from the chat. Someone suggesting a, uh, a sunflower field. But uh, yeah, we have lots of uh, great. Once again, you'll be able to um, give us um, your feedback. There'll be a survey that's going to be sent out to you. Um, within the next 24 to 48 hours. And I encourage you to fill it out um, so that we can keep giving you these types of classes from Michael's and to have Tim rejoin us to paint something like a lavender field. Yeah, so you'll notice again, every time we paint, we kind of all have like a little different brush stroke in hand. So in this one, this one's more like push, 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 push. Somehow right now I'm pulling down, pulling down, pulling down, okay? And honestly, they both look good. Okay, so don't feel like it, it can definitely, if you want this like bushy feel, then just push, 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 push. This case, for some reason, I'm pulling down, pulling down, pulling down, and that's fine too. But I'm trying to pull as close as I can because, you know, la, 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 la. Okay, so you just push, 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 How are we on time? Okay, so once you get that in, okay, I wish I was like on a cooking show where it's like, and now I'm gonna take it out of the oven and it's done. Okay, <laughs> that's not how it works when you're on Michael's Live, okay? So can't just do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, move on. And I'm gonna grab a little chunk of that beautiful light blue. So go ahead and just take a little bit of that light blue and push, 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 push. And it's gonna kind of blend into your purple. Do, 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 do. We're just painting just like so. Yeah, nothing makes sense. We're just painting it, okay? But what I do want to make sure is that when you do paint it, like we don't want to see a lot of brown, okay? We don't want to see a lot of brown. So make sure that you kind of pounce it around like so, okay? It's like blending in, blending in, blending in, like so. Okay. Tell me the colors, um, for those of you, I know that they were on the, it was light blue violet that's giving you that color. So yes. it's kind of even reminds you of like lavender and it's dioxin. We love this color. I yeah, love light blue color. violet. It, it is, it is a very refreshing color. So it's, it is a go to. Okay. It is. Then I'm going to take the corner of my brush, light blue, or again, design your own chateau. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it down. Pull it down. You see that's like, oh, those are those little French shutters. Shutters, lovely. But we love that because it's so cute. It's like, oh, it's just little. And again, I'm using the corner of my brush, just barely bringing it down. Okay. Timmy, I almost slipped. I almost said magnifique. Eh, c'est très bien. Je pas un petit peu de français. There we go. Little French lesson. Do you, do you speak, Janie? I do. A little bit. Uh, I should speak more of a French minor, but yeah, um, yep. but I can get by. I can get by. I, I mean, can't I get by. by. I'd say that's not it's not my not my my first language is English, of course. But yes, I can get by. Let's just say if I'm in an Uber, I can get myself to a hotel. That's okay? right. Yes. So I won't be stranded anywhere. That's right. Okay, so we are on home stretch here. Okay, everybody. So let me show you kind of some finishing touches because I know some of you might be still doing your lavender. And again, take your time, like this is awesome, okay? But when some highlights that can like really help it like be a little bit more intense is that mm -hmm. if I take, I'm using my medium brush, you're welcome to use your tween brush, okay? So you'll notice that if I go back with the black, like look at the difference here. If I go back with the black, See this and this, if I just pull it down, so much stronger, mm -hmm. okay? And I can just add a little bit more of my windows. And then also in here, see how this was darker black? I didn't wanna do that earlier because I was too afraid it might blend into like our purple and stuff like that. So you could just kind of like pounce. Like I'm using the, I'm gonna zoom in, Jeannie. Yeah, it does. And it gives it dimension. I think you should pull it closer. Absolutely, that's fantastic. Okay. 
I'm gonna come into this. There okay. you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now you're good. I, le I learned how to rainbow loom from Michael's this weekend. So <laughs> I forgot to take that off. Okay, so anyway, I take the skinny position of my brush and I just kind of poke in here. Wow, when it's all zoomed in, you really can see those. Um, <laughs> um, you know what? I'm not going to call it imperfection. It looks good. So just kind of like put a little black in there. Get the accents. It really did give it so much dimension because it, it now does, it looks like really the does. rose. It does, the shadows. Nice and honestly, done. the truth is, is that we're all painting so close to the canvas. Like this is what we're seeing. But when you pull it back, when you pull it back, you're like, whoa, it, you know? Now, one more thing that's gonna really bring it to life, washy, 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 washy good, is I'm gonna take a little bit of that pretty sunshiny yellow, a little bit of green, mm. a little bit of white. So I took yellow, green, and white. And you'll notice, see yeah, how there's just a little bit of green rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. And if you just add just a little hint of green, I'm, you guys, I'm holding the brush like this. I'm barely touching it. Yeah, you're just dabbing it on ever so slightly. Just barely touching it, just to give it a little color here and there. Nothing too serious. Maybe a little bit more up here. A little something. A little something. It's maybe the green is blending in with the black. And that's okay. And that's okay. Maybe you want to add like a little chimney. Maybe you want to add little flower boxes. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to zoom in. Sorry. Okay. Great. Honestly, this painting always turns out so cute. And again, that black, I'm just sitting up straight. Sorry. When we did this black, Feel free to go back and look at how if you just take a little corner block just to the sides of those cypress trees. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit here because this was so wet when we did it that if you just add that little bit darker to the black, it just kind of like makes it pop a little bit, you know? Looks good, definitely. That black accent makes it just the dimension and the shadowing. Yeah. Really brings it. So I know we are close to the end. So obviously the most important part of your painting always is to sign your name. And another thing I've been trying to do is dating it. So you don't need to put the date on the front of it, but put the date on the back of the painting because <laughs> honestly I've been painting for years and you know sometimes I'll do a holiday painting. I'll be like, what year did I do that? You know, and it's just kind of a nice little um, just for your collection purposes, but I'm gonna go ahead and use white. And I'm gonna sign it Timory, right here in the bottom corner. And my last name is Gold, so I always have to put some gold paint by my name. It's your signature. My signature. Your designer yes. originals. These are lovely. If I Thank could ask you. everyone, because we would love for you to post these, share them with Timri, and if um, you could be so kind to show us so that we could look at a, val uh, a gallery view of your artwork. So if you could hold them up. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, wow, look how beautiful. There's so much diversity too. Oh, they're lovely. They are so so beautiful. You guys, I just cannot thank you enough for taking the time to paint with me. Again, like I said, it's such an honor to be for Michaels. What a dream. And um, yeah, I mean, the, I always say the biggest compliment you can give is to tag me, post it on your social media, Timree at T-I-M-R-E-E, -E, and go to my website, timree.com, so you can see all the different classes I do. And um, yeah, it's just so awesome. They look so good. Look at Morna's. That looks great. Everyone's looks looking so good. good. Once again, Tim Reed, thank you for uh, painting with us and really showing us the Tim Reed technique in a relaxing environment. And um, 
hope this gives everyone inspiration to can come back and paint with Timri again and um, join us uh, next time on Michael's Zoom. But thanks again, Timri. This was fantastic. Awesome. Like thanks, going guys. To, like going to Provence. Very nice. <laughs>